Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we have arrived one more time, y'all. Let's uh let's get it in. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Derek Yahuda, Israel from the Pastor Derek. On the early well, I see the Swiss study in prayer line. On the 17th day in October, 2023. Y'all, let's get it. Yosef holding it down as usual. Elder Yosef, got my mom in here. Got my mother-in-law in here. My big sister Fee up in here. I uh, thank the most high for you. Uh, got my big bro up in here. Frank, what's up with it? Got Frank up in here. Nicole Robinson. As y'all chime in, feel free, you know, to push the share button. Um, hallelujah. Get, get your tag game on, because that's important, too. That's super important. I invite folks to come in and enjoy a word. Hallelujah. And, um, yeah. You can push the like button if you like. It helps the algorithm. Let's get back in this word, y'all. We back at it like a fanatic. Hold on, y'all. Part seven. Yeah, we got seven. We on the seventh one, y'all. Let's get it in. Um, let's go back to uh, Matthew's 24 and 13. We covered a lot of ground in this series. Tia, good to see you in here. Bless you. Uh, Matthew twenty four thirteen. Look what it say. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So that's making it plain that it really it takes endurance. And one thing about enduring something, you you're. You're, you're enduring to participate or to hold on to something. You're hanging in there uh, with a loyalty, with a loyalty towards something. And while you're enduring so you can hold on to whatever that object is, right, you're meeting different opposition. Yeah. You come across opposition. You 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 meet reasons to quit. I don't care what it is. It could be school. It could be getting your money. It could be a marriage. It could be a friendship. It could be working out. I don't care what it is. Uh, Latricia Johnson, Bev. I don't I don't care what it is. Trenda, listen. You, 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 when, 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 when the Bible tells us to endure unto the end, endurance shows you or indicates there's opposition. Yeah, you, you, don't, you don't have to endure for the lack of a better term. You don't have to endure something you love to do, that's fun to do, easy to do. Endure, that's not the term you use. Endurance uh, indicates difficulty. Y'all with me, Taylor? It indicates that there's a struggle, but he that endures to the end. And when you're enduring with anything or anybody, you're going to meet different forms of opposition. Yeah, since I've been with the Most High, I've had reason to quit. I've met desire to quit. Yeah. I, I, I ran across reasons to um 
you know, to do something against Yah. Not directly against him, but something he told me not to do. Logan, I done ran across some stuff that the Most High didn't want me to do that I wanted to do. Yeah. People can get a little disrespectful, and you can be the type of person that don't play that. You might you might you might want to you might want to respond, do something for them right quick. But in order to hold on to Yah, you can't do that. Yeah, people meet people they want to sleep with. But it goes against the will of the Most High. <clears throat> So you got to endure that. You got some people you want to hurt. You got some people, you'll meet people you want to hug. <laughs> you might you might just want a sabbatical. You might just want to cease fire. You might just want to get away from Yah. Some people in this race, you can mess around and get offended with Yah directly. Because things didn't go your way. How your life turn, is turning out or turned out. You can feel some kind of way about that. And you can blame the creator. So, so, so in, in Matthew or Matthew 24 and 13, when they say, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. That means you got to endure. Ain't no quit, y'all. David Dollison, it ain't no quit. You can't quit if you want to. Bad idea, though. Word teaches us, say, be not weary and well-doing. For in due season you'll reap if you faint not. Be, not. be not weary, meaning don't grow tired to the point that you quit. Be not weary in well-doing, doing what Yah told you to do. Because a lot of things that we do because Yah told us to do it, a lot of things we do don't reward your flesh. In fact, a lot of things he have us doing takes away from the flesh, your humanity, for the lack of a better term. Okay, your your human desires. Your your human desires get neglected when you walk in the spirit. When you walk in the spirit of love, when you walk in the spirit of truth, your 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 your, your evil desires go go lack. <laughs> That's why you got to endure. Be not, be not weary in well-doing. For in due season. Oh, due season is coming. In due season, you're going to reap. Most high pays well. Pay better than anything or anybody on the planet. In heaven or in earth. Beneath the earth. No, nobody can't nobody pay you like y'all can, but 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 you gotta wait. That's why the Bible say, after you have done the will of Yah, you have need of patience that you might receive the promise. In my life, it feel like I've been working for him for a long time. <laughs> You really do. But in, in all actuality, I have been working for him for a long time because my life is short. Life, my life happens so fast, I'm kind of like in shock. Don Deems, life passed you by so fast. I remember like it was yesterday that I was 18. 
banks, life pass you by so fast. The, the, the Bible is accurate when it says our life is like a vapor of smoke that appears for a moment and then vanish away. This life happened pretty fast. And Trinda, I'm glad that I never met anything in his life that I deem more important than Yah. There's nothing in this life more important than Yah. Nothing. And, and, and I'm glad I know that. I'm glad I know there's nothing on planet Earth, nothing to nobody that's more important than the most high. The most important relationship you've got is your relationship with the most high. That's by far that's the most important relationship. Not even a close second. And when you know those type of things, it helps you endure. You lose people. How many of us lost a loved one? They're not here no more. You lose people. There's only one constant in all of our lives. And the common denominator is the creator. That's the common denominator. Yeah. I got a birthday coming up uh, on the 11th of, of November. I know what you're talking about, Don Deems. And you, and you wonder, you wonder how, how, where the, all the time went. It, it happens. This life happens so fast. So in theory, it'd be feeling like a person been working for y'all for a long time or, or enduring, right? Trying to make it to the end, right? Enduring. Nah, I'm being straight up with you. I'm going to tell you. The majority of my life, I was with y'all. I can say that. But I can't say it was a long time because my life happened too fast for it to possibly be a long time. This thing happened fast, y'all. It happened real fast. <laughs> And you bless when you're loyal to the soil. You're loyal to Yah. To the soil. Loyal to the soil. You don't meet a man, ladies. Some joke is so twisted a man to meet a man. Boy, that's some weird stuff right there. Boy, I still ain't never been able to sink my teeth into that and them hijacking the rainbow <laughs> it didn't change my mind none the rainbow is actually a, a, a sign of a covenant that most high is not going to flood this earth no more <laughs> well, them hijacking it didn't help their cause not with me but you blessed when you ain't never met a man ladies Me and you ain't never met, met, met a woman that you're willing, you're so attracted to them that you're willing to walk away from Yah for them. Unfortunately, uh, some folks are not in attendance right now because they met a man or a woman. And, and gone. That's it. You got folks that's chasing business ventures to the point they ain't got time for the, their creator. They ain't got time for their soul. They don't have time to accomplish the true purpose of them being born because they found something that was more important to them. You blessed, I'm telling you. We all got things to do, earthly things to do. We all got family and responsibilities. We all we all got other we got we got stuff that's uh, lightweight and important. But you blessed if you ain't never met nothing that's more important than Yah. Been there, done that, went there, came back to you. <clears throat> Y'all with me? Been there, done that, went there, came back. It ain't worth it, huh? But he that endured to the end, looking, uh, uh, Hebrews 12 said, looking on the Yahushua, looking on to the Messiah, who's the author and finisher of your faith. Fin author and finisher of your faith. 
You lead a faith, you're on your own. You lead a faith, you're on your own. Y'all with me? You lead a faith, you're on your own. But the Mashiach is the author and finisher of your faith. He wrote in the victory for ones that hold on to the word. He wrote in the victory. Um. <laughs> Life is full of tests. I'm laughing by the test that I'm facing. I ain't gonna say what it is right now, but it's it's just tedious. You just uh, you know, I'm gonna have to uh or maybe I will say what it is. Lightweight, um <laughs> I don't even wanna say it. But anyway, you you did people do stuff. I, I'm in a situation it's not exactly like this, but I just say this. Say if I Uh, yeah, I can put it like this. Say if I, if something happened and I accidentally, I didn't even really do that to tell you the truth, but say if I accidentally paid somebody, gave somebody something that I wasn't supposed to give them, I didn't owe them that, but I gave it to them, say on an accident, mayors, right? I gave it to them an accident, and then I get out and say, shoot that back right quick. I accidentally, and they don't. They kept it. See, that's a test for me. <laughs> Because I'm going to have to pull up now. Now I'm being actual. That I'm being actual and factual. I'm going to pull up today. Yeah, I permit. And say, tear mine off. Give me give me my stuff back. But those be tests. For even thinking that you think you ain't going to give it back. That's a test. And then I got to pray to Yah that they do the right thing. Right? Because if they don't, what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm laughing because this, that's a test. You mean to tell me I dropped $20 and you picked it up and I say hand it here and you're not going to give it here? You mean give me, hand me my money. G hey, man, hey, bro, give me my money. You going to keep it? Oh, come on, man. Leslie Sutton, those, that's a test. I'm just going to believe y'all, they're just going to hand me my stuff. And I'm going to hop up my car and pull off. But those be tests. Y'all with me? Straight up, too. And you don't want to meet a situation that you'll go against y'all for. What I'm going to do, start sending? Nah, I don't want to do that. But see, Taylor, you got to claim to be there. I, I know your honesty, but you got you. Uh, check this out. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't pick my tests. Don't none of us pick our tests. And it be little small stuff like what I just explained to you. You, you gotta, you gotta learn how to spiritually weigh your relationship with Yah. How important is it to you? We got an evil nature, right? Listen, it'd be different if. We're supposed to serve him and we don't have an evil nature and we're not supposed to have an evil nature. But the truth of the matter is we were born in sin and shaped in iniquity, all of us. So we got a nature that um, would defend itself. And it will go far to, uh, to defend itself. Unfortunately, too far at times. You know what I mean? We, 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 we'll do what we feel as opposed to what's right. Real talk. It's a war. That's why in, in James got involved, right? James 1 and, 1 and 12. It said, blessed is the man that endured temptation. I got to endure temptation. It makes me squirm thinking about it. I ain't lying, because it's the principle. Now, what I'm talking about ain't nothing but $100. Because 
But that's too much to have somebody just take it from me. Man, give me my hundred dollars, man. Don't don't just hand me my hundred dollars. It's a test. Cause one, if they say, nah, man, no. Nah. <laughs> Give me, you ain't gonna give it to me? Oh man, I that would that, um, yeah. Oh no, in the flesh, you can't do it. I, I would go bananas. You, 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 you would want to make them wish they never played with you. Like, what? I don't know what you thought. I don't know what you thought this was. But blessed is the man that endured temptation, JB. Blessed is the man that endured temptation. For when he is tried, tested, he shall receive a crown of life, which Yah has promised to them that love him. When we know it's a test, how many of y'all know that we get tested. Put a one in here if you know you gonna, you gonna get tested. Some your cup of tea will come by and be ready to go to bed with you. I'm talking about your cup of tea. I'm not talking about old toe up tea bag. I'm talking about your cup of tea. Come along. But you'd be sinning if you did it. You got you gotta you gotta you gotta be able to spiritually weigh your relationship with Yah versus it. And unfortunately, some of us be so carnal, we'll pick it over Yah and we just banking on his mercy now. We always want to pull the mercy card, don't we? We want to stab Yah in the back. We want to go against Yah. Depending on he ain't going nowhere. I ain't got to do what he say because he's love. He going he gonna, he gonna to still be there for me. So we'll put in a little work or do what we want to do regardless of what he say. We ain't got to obey, right? That's Catholicism. That's what we've been taught since they kidnapped us. There's a doctrine called the doctrine of Balaam. And the doctrine of Balaam uh, uh, is he to, uh, 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 Balak wanted to destroy Israel, wanted, wanted, uh, uh, Balaam to curse Israel. So he would pay him because he had the ability to curse and he wanted to pay him to curse Israel. But the most high wouldn't let, uh, Balaam curse Israel because they was obeying Yah. And you can't curse with Yah's blessing. The devil in hell can't curse you when you obey Yah. Y'all with me? And so Balaam taught Balak, no, I can't curse them. I can only bless them. I can't curse them because Yah is blessing them. If you get them to sin, if you get them to sin, then Yah curse them himself. And that's the doctrine of, 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 of Balaam. When you understand we were born in sin and shaped in iniquity and we got this evil nature, which separates us from our creator. That's why we ended up in slavery. His chosen people ended up being shipped into slavery and dispersed all over the world as last class citizens. That's why everybody hate us in the skin we in. Because we went against our creator. Well, in the Americas, we served our 400 years from 1619, Comfort, Virginia, to 2019. Now judgment is here, and the Most High is going to pay all the nations that did that to us. But now it's time for us to be reconciled back with the Creator, get out of this Catholicism, calling Yah names that he's not. It's time for us to be reconciled. And while you're being reconciled, you're going to get tested. You're going to get tempted. When are we going to conclude that doing what y'all say is more important than anything on earth, including your evil desires? Would I survive if uh, 
say they don't want to give me my money back. Would I survive if I walked away? Yeah, I would. Would I be wounded? Yep. In my flesh, I'd be steaming mad, boy. Yeah. If I had to go pray and cry. To, to, uh, I'd feel some kind of way. Oh, boy, would I? We definitely have a conversation. You can believe that. I'd want to go get a sleeping bag and move into their business. You feel me? That's how I'm pull up on their business. I, I'd probably just sit in their business just look. <laughs> I might start having Bible study and they, you feel me? You need my money. <laughs> but I ain't going to sin. Y'all work it out, though. I'm just telling you. I see the setup. I see the setup. And, and of course, I'm going to pass the test. My mind is already made up. Ain't nothing worth going against y'all. <laughs> That's funny. It ain't funny. It's funny. That's why it's funny, because it ain't funny. <laughs> it's good, though. I know y'all is. But he that endured to the end. <sighs> I'm going to make it to the end. My mind is already made up, though. I'm not barely walking in there. I feel some kind of way. Y'all probably can tell. Oh, yeah, Taylor, it's going to work out in my favor. I, I just, I feel some kind of way. Teresa, they, they, they could have just, you know, shot me mine back. That's what it was. The doggone, I'm telling y'all more and more, but the doggone app turned on me. I didn't even send it. The app did. So I just fire back, say, shoot that back to me. You know, the app accidentally sent you, feel me? And they accepted it, but didn't send it back. I'm like, oh, what? Man, you better be quit pulling. Okay, so I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a, I'm a blame it on the rain. I'm pulling up. Check this out, man. Push that button right quick. <laughs> So hit that button. The button you hit when you accepted it, hit that button and send it back. That's all. And y'all gonna work it out. And I believe he is. Which positioned me to be able to teach this lesson some more. He that endured to the end. You gotta, you can't, look at this. You know why we meditate in the word? When the Bible says, meditate in the word both day and night. So you'll be like that tree planted by the river's water that bring forth its fruit in due season. You meditate in the word day and night, meaning I am already dealing with Yah in my psyche, in my mind. Right? I'm glad you're back, mayors. But listen, when the Bible tells us to meditate his word day and night, that means that I'm dealing with the word before anything happen, any situation come. I am conversating and fellowshipping with the creator. Are you with me? So when something happened, my mind is already made up because I've been spending time with him. It's when you don't spend time with him, you're going to sin. Banks know what I'm talking about. You're going to sin. Hey, 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 the right person come along. You you lonely and horny. Here come, here come your cup of tea, smelling right, looking right, saying the right stuff. Up under the right of circumstances, talk back to me. You're going to fall. Why? Because you don't spend no time with y'all. You're too busy. You work too much. You watch too much TV. You read too many love novels. You're too busy doing worldly stuff. Everything you do is worldly. How are you going to have a spiritual response and all you do is worldly stuff? You hang around with the wrong people. You hang around with pimps and players and thoughts. Gangsters. So when something go down, you gonna respond like a pimp or a player or a thought or a gangster, because that's all you fellowship with. That's all you do. But when you when you spend time with Yah, fasting and praying, spend time with Yah, he's you're going through the mind renewal process. You're being built up in your spirit. 
So when something stupid happened, you're strong enough in the spirit to resist to resist the devil. I'm trying to tell you something. Do you get you you're strong enough to resist the devil? Yeah. You don't spend no time with Yah, you, you ain't strong enough. That's why in the book of James, it says, submit yourself to Yah, resist the devil, and he shall flee. You got a lot of people that, that quote the scripture, right? Resist the devil, and he'll flee. You ain't going to resist him if you don't do the first part. It says, submit yourself to Yah, resist the devil, and he'll flee. Ken, Lord, good to see you. Y'all with me? There's no way in the world you're going to resist the devil with this evil nature of ours. We were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. How in the world are we going to resist the devil? When we, we were born in the spirit of the devil, for the lack of a better term, it's the truth. We were born with a fallen nature. We were born with a sinful nature. A baby's first words is, mine, mine, mine. Just the, the, that human nature. They're not born, oh, bless you. Here, have the last piece of candy. We weren't born like that. No share. You're going to have to learn. Get, 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 get you. Get, give me that. You share. We got to be taught. Because our evil nature, we're not born righteous. So when, it, when the devil come along, we got something in common. He's a rebellious spirit, and we are a rebellious spirit in the body. We got to be tough. We got to submit ourselves to Yah, resist the devil, and he'll flee. We got to spend time with the Most High. I hope y'all getting this. Nobody jumping up doing what Yah say just to do it. We spending time with him. We spending time with the people of Yah. That's why the Bible teaches us in, 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 in uh, Hebrews 10 and 25, forsake not the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is. I watch people that say they love y'all a whole lot. They don't fellowship, they sin it. They talk about wanting to obey y'all, but they don't do it. And you ain't gonna obey him unless you spend time with him because your source of ability to obey him is him. If you want to obey him, you got to spend time with him. You ain't just on a fluke, don't spend no time with Yah and then obey him. You got to spend time with him. And he'll share of his unmerited favor. He'll, he'll share his spirit with you. He'll share the ability to obey him with you. Barbara, I see you. Y'all with me? Yeah. That's why we assemble often. That's why I preach eight times a week. Because temptation come. <laughs> All right, Danielle, good to see you in here. But temptation come, y'all. Temptation. Things happen to where you want to do something contrary, Rhonda Ponder, something contrary to the most high, something contrary to what he told you to do, how he told you to live. I ain't talking about no chump stuff. I'm talking about we be having reason. Somebody sleep with somebody, they had a good reason. The horniness hit them. The loneliness hit them. Could be their ex. Could be they want to be married. Could be, it's all kind of reasons. Hormones is a monster all by itself. Don't like the person, spend some time with them, have something in common with them. It's hard to walk away. It's natural to sleep with them. That ain't uh, abnormal. That's normal. It's sinful, it's morally wrong, but it's normal. For boy to see girl, girl to see boy, and be attracted to one another. That's normal. But you got to weigh the circumstances to see if normal is right or not. And if you ain't spending time with Yah, you're going to do your natural born thing. I'll talk back to me. I ain't talking to nobody that don't know what I'm talking about. 
somebody play you close. It's normal to say, hey, hold on. Especially if you ain't no coward. You ain't no sucker. You got me messed. You got me twisted with somebody else. I will do your wig, you dig? You won't even see it coming, player. <sighs> That's normal. But the most high remind you when you rob somebody. <laughs> and he didn't kill you. Can you can we find some mercy around here? <laughs> can, hey, can you find a cup of that mercy I gave you? Cause you still here. All the crap you didn't did to people. You still want to live. Want to kill somebody for doing something you did to somebody else. You got a lot of nerve. Oh, the most high spend some time with y'all. He'll teach you. He'll make you a better fella. Ladies, he'll make you a better a fella, a fellow at fellow at. No, that's too close to fella, huh? We in some weird times where women kind of can be masculine. I ain't trying to push that on y'all. Bunch of ladies in here, y'all ladies. Y'all don't have that struggle. See, y'all ladies in here. Men, we masculine, ain't we? Metro, ain't no Metro brothers in here, is it? Let me preach the Metro off you. Masculine up, fella. Flex, come on, y'all, flex. Can you flex still? Can you? Matthew 24, 13. But he that shall endure unto the end. Um, What I'm doing right now, like, I teach Bible study tonight. There's prayer at noon today, y'all. Uh, the prayer attendance, the prayer attendance is down. We all need prayer. That's a powerful weapon, y'all. Y'all call in the prayer, 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. And then they double back on prayer. Um, it's every day at noon, Monday through Friday, and then uh, Monday, I mean, a uh, 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 Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday at 7 p.m. and Thursday at 8 p.m. Prayer, straight up. So y'all remember prayer. I forgot what I was saying. I just did a commercial for prayer because it's super important. Back to the scripture, though. But he didn't do it to the end. The same shall be saved. We got to have a made up mind that I'm telling you, this is an important lesson. It's real simple. I didn't get deep today. But this is deep. And the most high is telling me to tell you how to do it. Spend time with him. Your source for obeying him is him. You got to plug in like you do your phone. Like you do your laptop. You got to charge the battery. Don't expect to make no phone calls if you ain't charged the battery. Stay with me, Ben. Are y'all with me? Yeah, you got to plug in. You got to tap in. You got to spend time with him. You're fooling yourself if you think you're going to obey him and your schedule is all secular. All natural job. Natural TV, natural music, natural agenda. You plotting how you're going to come up and get paid all day and night. And then something something crazy happened. And, 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 and folks wondering why you went gorilla. You went gorilla because you, you, you living in the gorilla. You living in the natural. You living in your human nature. Us obeying a righteousness is not normal for us. We were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. People are imperfect. They're not righteous. Folks will get at your dog on behind. You, you got to spend time with Yah in order to be transformed. That's why the Bible teaches be born again. Because the first birth, we cocked and loaded, baby. Naturally. What you say? Who are you talking to? That's natural. To say, oh, I'm not, I'm not worried about it. Bless you, bless you. That ain't normal. You ain't gonna go to the lower bottom in West Oakland and hear that. Oh, it's okay. Okay, you can call me out my name. It's fine. Bless you. Enjoy the rest of your day. You ain't, you ain't going to Deep East and hear that. Go to Watts and hear that. You ain't going to the Tenderloin. Talking about. 
North Richmond. <laughs> Inspector here. Oh, this okay. It ain't okay. <laughs> I'm finna kill you. I'm finna pop you. We gotta spend time with y'all. Put a one in here if y'all with me. We got to spend time with y'all. It's natural to want a companion. Somebody to spend your life with. Natural. And ain't nothing wrong with somebody designing. Ladies, ain't nothing wrong with design your husband. Nothing wrong. Some, in fact, there's something right about it. Tell you the truth. <laughs> And while you're waiting, you got to endure. It's, it gets hard. It gets rough. It's not easy. And those of us that's not spending time with y'all, you already know you're going to sin. You already know it ain't no mystery. <laughs> that ain't no mystery. We doing something different. When, the, when the, what they call the gospel come to a person, what they call the gospel. When that's presented to you, that's presented to you so you can change, so you can repent, so you can turn around. Because it's different. Being with Yah is different. We know through history, finally, because we Hebrews had questions like, why does this always happen to our people? Why are we enslaved? Why are we discriminated against? Why, if we went to battle with our enemies, we'd lose? Why, 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 why are we in the condition we're in? Well, if you'd have took, picked up the book and took it seriously, you'd have found out why. But now we're picking up the book and we're taking it serious because we thought the white man wrote it and used it to keep us down. No, they hijacked it because all the blessings is in it. And the people that it was written to is, is, is blessed of the most high directly. And when we drop the ball and, 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 and end up getting cursed for going against our creator, they picked it up and pretended to be us and took all, they reaped all the benefits. They got all the money, all the land, all the stuff because they pretended to be us because the blessing is being the children of Yah. And now that we served our whooping, according to prophecy, we, we, we served our whooping. Now the curse is being reversed. Now we waking up to who we are. And who we are, we obey Yah. We obey the word. We're not led by our wicked nature. We had enough of that. We got beat down enough for that. I'm done. I'm cool. So what's natural don't mean it's right. Attracted to folks, that's natural. Get upset with folks, that's natural. Me over you, that's natural. Don't make it right. It's just natural. Now, we seek in righteousness. That's why Matthew uh, 6 and 33 say, first seek the kingdom of Yah and his righteousness and all this other stuff will be added. We on some, I want Yah first. <laughs> I want Yah first. <laughs> I want his righteousness, his way of life first. I did the other stuff. Been there, done that, went there, came back. I'm cool. I'm cool. Give me Yah. His life is too short for me to run into anything. I'm dancing like Barbara's emoji, see? But uh, 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 I, I ain't meet nothing in this life moving forward that's more important than y'all. No woman, no man, no money, no disagreement, no nothing. I'm cool. I want y'all. I choose y'all. How many y'all with me? Put a... Put a two in here if you're with me. Come on, stay with me, y'all. Put a two. 
Put a two here if you're with me. Put a two in here if you're with me. I ain't meet nothing or nobody that's more important to me than y'all. Am I back, Danielle? I was froze for a minute, huh? Put a two in here. Hallelujah. Choose y'all over anything or anybody. And, and, and I plan to hold on. How many of y'all plan to hold on? Put a three in here if you plan to hold on. And to the end, though. Put a three if you plan to hold on. You got to be faithful to them, Ken. Nicole, Danielle, listen, Barbara. We got to be faithful to them, niece. Stonell. Battle. Mm-hmm. Mother-in-law, mom, Yosef, we got to be faithful to them. Trent, Frank. Come on, y'all. Ponder, we got to be faithful. Banks and Sutton. Now, see, I get to naming mayors. I got to naming folks. Now I'm obligated to name everybody. I can't name everybody, Frank. <laughs> Taylor, come on, y'all. I can't name everybody. Y'all know what I'm talking about, though. Logan, stay with me. <sighs> Corzu, am I saying it right? But y'all know what I'm talking about. Come on now. He that endured to the end. How many of y'all real talk plan to obey him, not just have a form of having a relationship with him? I'm saying you're willing to marry the word, enter to a covenant agreement with the creator, right? Enter to a covenant agreement. Uh, agreement with the creator and then obey him until you leave here not in and out up and down I'm talking about thy word if I hid in my heart that I might not sin against him how many of y'all come on you already beat me to the punch because I'm going for the foe Logan but how many y'all <laughs> but how many of y'all is willing to put a foe in here like Logan did listen how many of y'all listen got your mind made up listen that I'm going to literally do what he say until the end. I'm going to obey him. I'm going to endure temptation. James 1 and 12. Blesses the man that endure temptation. Listen. I'm glad to hear that, Taylor. I'm tired of doing things my way too. That's why I'm cool on me. I am not messing with me. I am not finna destroy me. I am not fee. Big sis, I'm not going to allow me to destroy me. Are y'all with me? I'm not going to allow me to destroy me. Jeff, I ain't doing it. No. I have evil desires that come over me. I'm going to have to sit down somewhere. I'm not going to allow. I'm going to be blessed because I'm going to endure temptation. And I'm going to receive the crown of life, which he has promised to them that love him. And he said, if you love me, do what I say. <laughs> Keep my word. Keep my commandments. Are y'all with me? I see the foes in here. Put a foe in here, y'all. Yeah, my mind made up. We're in the end times, y'all. You can see it clearly. You can see what's going on over there in the Middle East. Y'all got some business to handle over there. He got some he got some business to handle here too. Some people owe him. I'm I'm finna go. It's time for me to go. But I'm telling you, some people owe Yah. And you know why they owe Yah? Because what they did to him and his people. They did something to his children. They raped his children, y'all. They enslaved his children. They shipped them all over and they made them three-fifths of a human being. They dogged his children out and they still hate his children to this day. And they brainwashed his children, made them believe that they was Gentile, jacked them for their identity. Oh, some folks, oh, yeah. They went into Jerusalem. They went into the temple and stole all his artifacts too. 
He got a problem with that. Read Joel, the third chapter. He got a problem with them going to his temple, stealing his sacred stuff and shipping his children all around and raping boys and girls. He got a problem with it. Taking our history book and whitewashing it and then brainwashed us to think we're a bunch of Baptists and Methodists and stuff. Think, think, we think we, we, we church folk. <laughs> he got a problem with that. So he, oh, he got some work to do in the Middle East all across. Middle East. You mean Africa? He got a problem with them naming, uh, renaming his stuff too. <laughs> they don't. They don't want. They didn't want us to know it was Africa, so they named it the Middle East during World War II. He got some straightening to do. Y'all kick back and endure to the end. How many y'all gonna hold on? How many y'all gonna hold on? Put a five in here. Let's pray. Let's hold on, y'all. How many y'all gonna hold on? They erased the history. You right, Danielle. How many y'all gonna hold on? Put a five in here. Let's pray. I'm holding on to the end. I ain't meeting no sin that's going to win. Not in my life. That's you, The devil is a lie. Care how short your little skirt is with your little half top on. Care how crazy you talking. I ain't going to knock your dog on teeth out. Pop at you. Hit you in the knee. I'm, a, I'm cool. I'm going to stay out the way. I'm finna go pray, y'all. Put a five in here. Let's pray. Let's pray. Nothing to nobody is worth it. Nothing. Five on. I got five. Come on, y'all. Put five on. Let's pray. Spirit of living Elohim, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Humbly, know how we're in your presence because we love you. Lord, we need you desperately. Continue to send your word to your children. Continue the mind renewal process. We apologize for all the sins we've committed. We believe you. We believe you. And we can achieve you because of you through the power of your unmerited favor, with, with what they call grace. Give us the unmerited favor, the power. Shower down the power so we can go through the mind renewal process so we can be what you called us to be. So 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 you won't won't lead us into temptation but deliver us from the evil one. And we're gonna give you the praise and honor, not only now but forever. Our mind is made up. We hid the word in the heart so we might not sin against you. And we're going to keep that word there until you rescue us. Rescue your children. Dispatch your angel of protection about us and keep us safe. And we'll continue to give you the praise and the honor. Not only now, but forever. In the matchless name of Yahushua, we humbly pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kumbaya, Yahuwah. Hallelujah. And Amon. The difference between Amen and Amon. Amen means uh, so be it. Amen, right? Aman is faith. Yeah, fa faith. When you say Aman, like you, you, you believe the word and you're going to do it because faith without works is dead. So I just want to share that with you. But Aman, y'all. Aman. Aman, Aman, and Aman. That was the lesson. Thank everybody. Push the share button. Share your platforms with the truth of the word. Thank everybody that tag. Man, some tagging was jumping off this evening. This morning, I go with all this slang, but thank everybody that got their tag game on, inviting people to come in. Thank everybody that's pushed up the love buttons, get the algorithm going, and may the most high bless each and every one of y'all. All y'all mean a lot to me, each and every one. When I see y'all faces pop up in here, it, it just it blesses my soul. Teresa, all y'all, Ken. Always a pleasure, man. Good to see you, JB. All y'all, real talk. And uh, yeah, I I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited. Uh, y'all continue to pray for one another. Yeah, continue to pray for the Ecclesia. Thanks, Logan. Y'all, yeah, let's pray for one another. Continue to pray for Leroy and his lungs, uh, my sister's husband, and his and his and his health, and uh, uh, um, Mother Katie's husband. In his health, my mom, uh, my wife, in her in her in her throat and in, in her health condition, but just all of us, real talk. Me too. I be going through some stuff, but I ain't I ain't mad about nothing. Tell you the truth, just continue uh, to pray for one another. That's what I'm saying. I love y'all. Uh, y'all stay encouraged in Him. 
Y'all want to talk about the word? 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. Other than that, y'all be brief. Keep that number because we use it for noonday prayer. If y'all want to pray, call that number at noon, okay? Other than that, I love y'all. Y'all be Baruch, Baruch, Shalom. I'm gone.